The other thing you can do is, um, Casey, you know, you know Europe like the back of your hand. And so you become a travel consultant. And you start to, instead of being a travel agent for everybody, you pick really rich clients and you go to them and say, Josh, I know you're really rich because you're the vice president. Um, have you ever wanted to go to Africa? Yeah. You want to go to Africa, right? Do you think if you book your own travel to Africa that it's going to work out well for you? Probably not. You don't even know where to begin, right? You might like book a hotel where like a lion will come and eat you in the middle of the night or something, right? But Casey's an expert on Africa and she says, look, I'm going to book your travel. I'm going to put together a travel package to Africa for you that is out of this world. I'm going to, I've been there several times. I know what to do. I know what to stay away from. I know the hotels where the lions will eat you and I won't book you in them, right? And so she does it for a small fee. Is that a good investment on you if you're paying? Yeah, because you got limited time in uh, Africa. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm going over to Europe and I've, I've been over to Europe a couple times, but I've got an extended period. Um, so I'm picking everyone's brain around here. Okay, what do I do when I'm here? What do I do when I'm there? Because I have a limited time and I don't want to get caught in the tourist traps, right, that are going to charge me, you know, a lot more money when I can be doing something really cool that only the locals know about. Make sense? So that's the future of travel agents. If you want to do one of those two things, great. But if you want to be a retail travel agent, the job really doesn't even exist anymore. There you go. Pretty cool? All right. Corporate travel manager is what we talked about. Works within large corporations. You can still work as a travel agent, you just have one client. And it's usually a big company. Okay? And you can also pick up some work on the side being the meeting planner because big companies have big meetings, right? So you can go in and say, look, I'm already handling your hotel arrangements for the big annual convention. Why don't you just let me handle everything, plan it? And just pay me, I don't know, $80,000, $90,000 to do it, right? So what's Josh going to say? Well, I can do it all myself and it's going to take me a couple weeks. Or I can just hand everything over to Casey, pay her 80000 bucks. I'm already saving, you know, $5 million a year. So, yeah, here's 80000 bucks. plan my, my big meeting. Soup to nuts. Everything. Right? So that's how corporate travel managers work. They're very entrepreneurial. That's what I like about them. This is smart ones figured out really quick. i got to change. Because the way that I've done business up until this point, it's all going to change overnight with this thing called the internet. The smart ones adjusted and survived. The weak ones went out of business. It's the, it, it's the whole Darwin thing again, right? Just like Dr. Carnotis, you know? Theory of evolution. You evolve, get better, figure it out, or you, you die. Not literally. Okay. Now, there's another job in tourism. Um, where are you from? You're from Charleston, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're no longer from Charleston. You're from Brazil. You ever been to Brazil? <coughs> uh, pretend. All right. See you. Okay. Um, and you know everybody in Brazil. You're a well-connected man. You're an entrepreneur. And what's your name? Mikey. Mikey. Everybody knows Mikey. Mikey is uh, a big wheel. And pick a city in Brazil. Sao Paulo? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Sao Paulo. Big wheel in Sao Paulo. Am I saying that right? Even if I'm And you come to the United States. Right? And you're thinking, man, I gotta make some money. You get to know the local hotel business and then you talk to what's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Jessica runs Jessica's Hotel in Columbia, South Carolina. Okay? And every night Jessica runs about 80% occupancy. She's got a hundred <coughs> rooms. Every night she gets about 80% occupancy. Are you happy? You are? Not really, why? Because you want to be on a 
You every night you want it to be full, and you just can't seem to get there. You've tried everything, and every night you've got 20 rooms that are unoccupied. It's driving you crazy, right? So Mikey figures this out. You get to know her, and she said, "Oh man, this is driving me crazy. I gotta fill." Okay. So Mikey figures something out really quick. For some reason, people in Sao Paulo like Columbia, South Carolina, because it's famously hot. And Mikey knows this. So he goes to Jessica. So Jessica, I got a business proposition for you. You interested? How about I bring business to you from Sao Paulo? You interested? I can guarantee you, I can I can put ten rooms a night into your hotel, guaranteed every night. Interested? Okay. What's he want in exchange? Not commission. He wants more. Okay. Let's say you normally charge a hundred dollars a night for your hotel room. He says, I want a really good price. What price are you giving? He's like, no way. <laughs> He's a tough negotiator. <coughs> Keep working. Sharpen your pencil. 70? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Get back to me when you're, you're serious. 50? 50. 50% off, right? He says, deal. You say to him, okay, look, Mikey. I'm going to give you this deal, but you buy 10 rooms a night. I don't care if they're occupied or not. How many rooms a night are you going to pay for? 10. Whether you got people in them or not, I'm going to give you this really good rate, but you're going to pay for 10 rooms a night. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay? But Mikey, again, he's connected in South Paulo. He's like, man, I can probably put 20 rooms a night in here, but let's be safe and let's do 10. And so what you're doing is you're becoming a travel and tour <coughs> wholesaler. Now what you're going to do is you'll sign a contract with her, basically saying, outlining it all, and then you go back to Sao Paulo and you, um, I should have picked Rio, it's easier to say. <laughs> um, you say, you start advertising, trips to Colombia, packages, famously hot <laughs> Colombia, right? And you get all these people, oh yeah, I want to travel to Columbia. And you start putting together travel packages for them. Now, not only did you do this with Jessica, but you did it with Brazilian Airlines, which flies directly to Columbia, right? And rental cars and, um, yeah, rental cars and um, Carowinds. For some reason, they all like to go to Carowinds Amusement Park, because they don't really have that many good amusement parks in Brazil, okay? And you make the same deal with them. Basically, 50% off. What are you gonna, you're gonna put together these packages. How much are you gonna charge for a hotel room to your people? Um, maybe give them a deal. Well, give them a deal. 100, you know people will pay 100 for it. 100, is that a good deal for you? How much are you making a night off a room? 50? Times how many rooms? Ten rooms. Five hundred bucks a night, right? You're marking it. You're getting it from her at a discount. And you're marking up fifty percent. And not only do you do it with the hotel, you do it with the theme parks, the airlines, the ground services. That's a pretty good deal, isn't it? Now, here's the question, Jessica. Why can't you kind of pull a Josh and say, "Okay, I'm going to get rid of the middleman." You don't have those connect. Can you even speak? <laughs> you know what they speak in Brazil? You know what the language they speak is? Portuguese. It's Portuguese. Yeah. You, do you, can you can you even say hello in Portuguese? <laughs> so if you try to go to Sao Paulo and sell your hotel rooms, what's going to happen? They're going to they're going to what are you saying, crazy lady? <laughs> See, he's using his connections to package things together. This yes, ma'am. Is this like your <sighs> A little bit. It's, okay, it's the same basic DNA. It's the th same thought. 
It's more like anybody ever done like a ski package vacation? Yeah. That, they're doing the exact same thing. They're not going to Brazil. They're going to the, the ski resorts. But they're giving you, you're, they're giving the ski packages access to a market they probably are untapped. And so who's making out in the deal? Mike. Are you happy? Jessica, are you happy? Absolutely. 90 rooms better than 80 rooms a night? You should be happy. That's what travel and tourism wholesalers do. Okay? And uh, five years ago, I had this student in my class from Puerto Rico, and he didn't know what he wanted to do, and he was in my intro class. He saw this, and he said, Man, that's it. I'm, the, I'm Mikey in Puerto Rico. I know everybody. People love to come to Orlando. And he's put it together, and I hope he's doing really well. And a millionaire one day is going to like give me a grant for a million dollars or whatever. Forget me. All right, you guys, learn enough today. Get your money's worth.